Okay, cool. So in this video, we will um, build our project inside um, Next.js, and I will using Code Sandbox Project Beta. It's still beta, but it's very good. I have uh, using this for the production, and it's good already. But if you if you wanted to use like Visual Studio Code with your terminals, that's uh, totally fine. So this is just for the sake of the the tutorial so you can see in the real time and we can create um pull hand dev um pull hand dev project tutorial okay let's say like this okay um it will clone in the git repository and then set up the dependencies and then we can start to clean up our um our boilerplate and set up the project okay let's wait for that and i think i already installed the github one and yeah okay so close this and yeah you can see it's working fine um we can start to close this close and stop preview and we can start to set up the SSV file. I love using SSV file. And we can start to create components folder and a library folder. Okay. And we can see here, we already have the pages inside the SRC. So we will clean up the div here. And we can start to get our div and hey this is new okay i'll flip this and you can see i have semicolon uh personally i don't like it <laughs> as a new as a beginner but if you wanted to using the semicolon it's up to you but for me i just uh prefer to have no any semicolon so i will step set up the prettier lc and I will create semi and uh, let's say it's false. Okay, save. Okay, save. And then we can start to save this or we close and then we open and then we start to save. And let's see if it's gone. Might not be gone with, because it's still. Um, okay, yeah, it's gone. Okay, the next thing here, we need to um, yeah, I think it's good. Okay, let's close and stop the terminal, and we can create the terminal one and let's say yarn dev, and open the preview. Yeah, uh, good, it's working. I will delete the styles and delete the CSS. So yeah, okay. So the next thing here, what we wanted to do is installing the pocket base. We can go to the documentation and go into client um client side integration and you can see here the javascript sdk and we can go to the here copy this and before that we can install we will install yarn add pocket base like that okay cool um after that we can go to our pages okay and then we can copy this like that and then we can start to create our um this one the client like that exactly why we are not using import because pocket base uh, still don't have um typescript typescript um support so we will use require only for the case and yeah the next thing here is i wanted to import use state 
and use evict from react of course and then we can start to create once um patch patch all tools okay and then it's an async so what inside here uh we will use this one fetch a paginated record list yeah so i will copy here inside the fetch tools and we can start to create the uc back hooks um with like a very simple one just for calling the fetch all tools okay and before we save we can console lock the result list from here and we can save it okay and then we can open in the new tab and it's not started so we need to start first okay and then we refresh and we inspect to open the console lock and see uh you can see here we have the the items already don't worry with the errors it's error not from from the sandbox or from the from the pocket base it's an error from uh, some of plugin that i have here so yeah you can see there is an items that it's using the design right sorry the logo the name the pricing the description and and many more we have three records and it's fetching the three records so the next thing what i wanted to do here is creating once tools data set tools data okay and then i will um let's say it's um use state okay and then we can set tools data here okay but since it's not um it's not it's not an array we need to go to these items okay so we saw list dot items okay cool so we will console lock the tools data here and then we save let's see and you can see it's consoling the the tools data and there is three and then we can start to check using div div okay we will um we'll spread here tools data dot mapping okay using return div and then we can say what we need um, name description description and then logo and pricing i think yeah pricing and url okay and we will use this um, let's say it's any for for the moment okay okay let's save we don't have anything here we need to spread the name let's see it's the name okay sorry it's error let's refresh and you can see it's the sun stripe here and let's say well and this item save yep this is good um let's start 
to add if if okay um and then we can add description logo okay we got it the logo url and then we put key here it has an id um if you can see from here it has an id so i will use also the id as the key and we save and you can see it's it's working good yeah it's working good from this um pocket base it's working fine right. um the next thing i will show the logo okay yeah so the logo so we need to use this as the url of of the image and i will show you how i will use image src and then with let's say it's 200 height is 200 okay image yeah src okay um let's save it uh we don't have any because it's it's error it's it's detected as logo as any and it should be as a string so um to load uh, the the image here we need to go to the pocket based documentation and you can see files here and to download and the fetch file, we need to use this file name collection. So we will open this and we can create the collection. Okay, and then um, using literal templates. So we will take, we will use this. It's quite long. Uh, we need to have the collection ID. So we need to console again the, the result list. And then we comment first. Let's see. The collection. Um, where's the collection? Yeah, you can see the collection ID here. Okay, the collection ID or name. I think we can we can use the name or the ID. This is the ID. And this is the name, which is tools. And then you can save. And let's see. Nothing there. Let's use um, import next image from next image we will use uh, next.js next.js image and then we save and it's error because we don't have the, the configuration so i will put the this one inside our okay inside our next config and then we can say images domains and we can put here so after that we can start to restart the yarn and then refresh here 
Um, let's see if there is an error. And you can see we cannot get this one. Why? Because the URL is invalid. So either it's it's error because because this one, or because the file name. See the file name. It should be not the file. It should be the logo itself. Yeah, you can see. Um. Yeah, it's cool. And let's see. Let's change this to. And yeah, it's working fine. So the next thing we will build um the real app from 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 the pocket base and we will deploy also to Procell might be and yeah let's just follow along the tutorial thank you